What's up, guys? What We're up? here. We're back. It's another week. Another, another day. Week. Another it's a great time to be alive. It's hot as hell in it's Florida. It's sunny in Florida. But it's special go time. It's a special day today. It's a very special day today. Why is that? It's chest day. Okay. One of those big... The holy muscle of men. Yeah, the holy muscle of men, what everybody, every guy wants. Plus, we have a very special guest today. <laughs> we have a very, very special guest for you guys today. John I want to introduce Morris. you right now. Ta -ta -da! He's back. I'm back. <laughs> he is back. He is going to be our main guy. These, these guys act like I've been gone for like three fucking episodes, but it's only been one last week. Shut up. There's kid, there's, there are kids watching. Okay, I'm but sorry. But anyways, look at those boobies. This, that's what we're going to be focused on today. So check it out, guys. Exercises to come. Building up the chest today, uh, huge muscle uh, importance when it comes to men and their training. And, you know, it's all about chest and building that big manly chest. Steven has a great chest, chest of Hercules, I call it. Um, and we're gonna go ahead and cover the mass, mass, the main mass gainers, and obviously the fin the stuff that you can focus on just to really isolate, and all the other alternatives that you can do if you don't have a gym. So hopefully this video is helpful. Let's get to it. Let's get to it. All right. So first exercise we're gonna be going over is the bench press. It's like the most common freaking movement for chest that people do. Or they're always like, well, how much can you bench? You know, blah blah blah. Yeah, well, the overall mass gainer. Yeah. Right? <laughs> So, uh, okay, some tips for bench. That was how you got those titties. Yeah, that's how I got my titties. But, <laughs> but, uh, but you want to first uh, lay on the bench. Always keep you know good stance on uh, your feet. Um, you're gonna want to have that natural arch um, on your back, uh, right here. You guys can see the other one just shown. Um, number one. You know how I like, pull up the shirt? Yeah. He has a little bit of a gap that I can yeah. actually put my hand in. And that's natural. I'm not doing that. It's just like my butt and like, you know, my, my back or whatnot. Um, but number one, shoulder safety. And number two, and number two, it, um, it, it helps you focus more on the chest. More, uh, more, more, uh, I say it, uh, the concentration. <laughs> more engagement, uh, more basically. More engagement. Okay. Um, so another thing is the grip right here. How you how are you gonna grip the bar? I like to go like this, thumbs on the edge of the gnarling, but on the rough and just part, just have like a neutral grip. Mm -hmm. You know, the closer your grip is, the more engaged your triceps are going to be. So it's gonna take away a bit from the chest, although you're still working it out. So if you wanna completely like just isolate the chest. The wider you will go. That's you know that's how it is. So you know the wider you go. But we want to we want to we want to put a cautionary there with the wider grip. Oh yeah. You know if you yeah, if, if you have very bad shoulder health and mobility, you might run more a risk of injuring yourself. So of I course, think so. You would say probably a neutral grip might be a little bit safer, and you get a all around balanced it is, chest. It is because you know you have your triceps there to help along with, and, and you know obviously if you go wider, you're not gonna have that. Yeah, you know, triceps are not really going to be engaged there to help you. Um, awesome. So yeah, so here I'm just also when you bring the bar down, so you're going to want to bring the bar to like nipple level. So you know, like down here, I'll show you guys in a second. I'm going to run through real quick. All right. So key points: feet on the ground. The feet are not on the bench. Feet are on the ground. Nice little arch. Pin the show. Pin your traps. You want to pin those traps into yeah. the mat. Keep your shoulders safe. Go ahead and take off. All right. See if I can get a better angle. See right about nipple line, the bar comes nice and controlled. Elbows are not flared out to the sides, they're kind of in an angle. The elbows are in an angle. Elbows like flared out all the way like this, no. You want to have them kind of like tucked in a bit. Slight that. angle. Keeps the shoulders out of harm's way. Really exaggerate that chest sticking out. Like you said, better get chest engagement and it just keeps the shoulders out of that strain. So, good stuff. Yep. Thanks for the tip. 
Another chest movement you can incorporate into your chest routine that I feel that it's a little bit easier for people that have shoulder problems that they feel uncomfortable doing a flat chest press um, is the incline. Um, it's a good mass, uh, mass builder as well. The fact that it is still a barbell movement so you can load the bar with a lot of weight. Um, the, the key points still apply as if they would to the bench would be you want your feet flat. You really want exact. You can exaggerate the arch a little bit easier on an incline, and uh, really pin your traps. You push against it. Push against the mat when you have your traps there. Really sticking out your chest, putting your shoulders back, and keeping them, you know, nice and tucked. So if you suffer from ch uh, shoulder pain, that's probably the reason why is that you're letting your shoulders round forward. So same feet. grip will be applied. Feet flat. It feels comfortable and natural. Having the fingers right at the rough part. The, bar. the gnarling, that's what it's called. The gnarling, but for all the non gym bros out the, here, the rough part. Show the, the back so too. We have here, we have a nice good. See the arch? Yep. Steven can basically stick his whole head in there if he needed to. Yeah, look. <laughs> <laughs> so, let's go ahead and just show how you demonstrate this. Elbows tucked in just like you would for the, um, for the flat bench. You don't need to go too, too flared out. Come out of the rack, nice retraction, come down nice and controlled, right above, right under the collarbone is fine. Go. Tension the whole movement. You want to squeeze that bar even at the bottom, and you're holding it. Keep that tension throughout the whole body. It's a great muscle builder. Um, I personally like to do this over the uh, flat bench, even though it's not as strong as my flat bench. I feel like my ch overall chest develops just as great. So, if you like, I said, if you're a person that struggles with shoulder pain and the flat bench is just really not comfortable for you this is a good alternative usually people get better feedback and feel better doing an incline versus a flat so hope that helps i love the way you rep xo bro <laughs> yeah i was just there a couple weeks ago xo till we overdose <laughs> we got here pedro all right, one of the next uh, great chest builders that uh, we wanted to cover today. It's kind of like a, an alternative to the chest press. It's uh, the dumbbell chest press. And uh, obviously the main difference here is that we're going to be using two dumbbells for the same movement that we showed you on the chest press. Okay. And, uh, why, why I like this exercise, especially if you're only beginning to work out your chest and to build your, mus your chest muscles, this helps you uh, build those stabilized muscles as well. It's, uh, you know, you don't have the weight here evenly distributed through, because of the bar. So it's also definitely gonna help you, you know, to build that chest up and really get, uh, get also stronger on your chest press because of that. you have more uh, engaged muscles this way. So uh, let me show you guys how I do my chest press. All right. Look, look at those arms, man. Look at that shit, dude. The summer stretch challenge is yeah, still in effect. It's fucking... How many weeks are we out? Four? Four? Four. Four Damn, dude. How much have you fucking lost? Uh, about like 15 pounds. pounds. 12, 15 pounds. Shit. Uh, That's what's pounds. up. I would start at 174 and at 115. How many weeks, how many days of cardio are you doing right now? I'm doing two. Two? Two. Two. Nice. And only 20 minutes. And you're still enjoying the food you like? Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. All right, let's, let's break this down for All right. Quick. Let's do this shit. All right, ready? Yep. Alright, so again, uh, when it comes to the dumbbell chest press, I really want you guys to, we're gonna focus on form. I'm a huge believer on form, not like a whole bunch of weight. And the full range of motion. Full range of motion, exactly. <laughs> and so uh, get a weight that you can really do, that you can really focus on, that you can really get a full movement in, and, and you feel like you're doing it right. Don't get, you know, 40 pound dumbbells, 50 pound dumbbells, 60 if you can't, if you can't really do them. Yep. So focus on a weight that you can do, really engage those muscles, and uh, yeah. Alright, let's do this shit. Go. Feet flat as well. I was gonna continue so feet flat. Feet flat. Tick print! <laughs> Arch. The way I like to start, elbows tucked in. Dumbbells also touching my chest. Drive up. 
as he does his movement, you just notice like he has his good arch. He keeps those shoulders. Same principles apply as for every movement. And, an, and another thing about the dumbbell chest press versus the barbell chest press is the fact that you're able to work on any imbalances or if you feel like you're, you know, if the bar's too heavy to start off or if it's just a good alternative to kind of switch it up so you're not stuck on just barbell, barbell, barbell. Incorporating dumbbell work is a great alternative to continue to strengthen and develop your chest. You guys heard it. Good form. Up the top, full contraction. Good stuff. That's money right there. Wait, wait, Damn, bro, we need, we need a summer shirt challenge and we need the summer sun challenge. For real, dude. Casper. <laughs> Casper the friendly ghost. Casper the friendly bro. Alright, Steven, break this down, the chest fly. Uh, we were going to do a dumbbell work, um, but, you know, the same principles would apply with the dumbbell fly. It's very similar, I feel, to the cable chest fly. The good thing about the cable chest fly that I feel that works a lot, Steven, would be what? Tension, right? Tension, yeah, more tension throughout the whole movement. Tension, constant tension on the movement. You have the ability to up and down the, you can move the pulleys up and down. So you're getting different tension in different angles. So the whole myth about training your chest in different different parts of the chest is not necessarily the case. It's, it's mainly the stress that you're putting the muscle in in those different angles. Yeah. So we're starting about relatively high. Go ahead and demonstrate that for us. Right. Yeah, I do. I just take the movement out. You know, make it do this and that. Get that chest now. Yep. Take it out. Bring it in. The main point here is just to squeeze that at the top. You squeeze and contract very hard. Control it the whole time. Always, you also keep your elbows bent like this. Kind of like you're giving like a barrel a hug. You know? That's a good analogy. Kind of like you're hugging a barrel. Good stuff, nice and controlled. You don't need that much weight doing this movement, you just want good control and that contraction. Your chest will appreciate it and the blood will go rushing into that. Oh, yeah. This is a good finisher for the chest. Yeah, you feel a nice stretch. Oh, so yeah. <laughs> good stuff. So yeah, about angles. Like I said, angles change the different amount of tension, so incorporating different angles, different positions of the, the chest and the arms. It does do a difference, um, but, but the main principle is the same. There's a takeaway message there would say the barbell, the dumbbell movements are great mass builders and developers of the chest. They're going to be your compound movements. These are actually movements though with the cables are less taxing than the barbell, so like if you want to throw it in on the days off or you're, you're trying to add more frequency to your chest, cables and machines might be a good alternative to kind of just get some blood and nutrients going into that muscle once it's really pounded the hell out of it with a barbell. So you're incorporating those days more frequently, less taxing on the muscle, it will help your recovery and it will just help add that volume to develop your chest if that's one area you feel you lack. So, good takeaway. Yep, yep, yep. Cantinflas. Steven, what is this? Are you? Oh. Are you? <laughs> Are you? I got my baby here with me. He's over there in the in the. Is that what, that's what they all say when they're not potty trained. <laughs> Good. Yeah, I love this EXO shirt. Anyways, um, for people that are really trying to get into the gym and they want, they are not comfortable with getting under the bar or even grabbing a set of dumbbells, or if you're just simply at home and don't have time to work out at the gym, fundamental movements that we've been doing since we were a kid that we all hated push-ups and a lot of people half-ass their push-ups um, but if you do a standard just a basic push-up your chest can develop quite well with just doing um, getting good at doing push-ups and they do have their place I mean you can do them at the gym you can do them at home and it's an exercise that it's very fundamental to the upper body so basically I'll demo it real quick how you would do it a standard push-up we just uh, about a little bit more the shoulder width apart, depending on the person. Nice and stable, everything back neutral. I use my touching the floor as a way of guiding my full range. I just want to exaggerate and lock out at the top. Yeah, you wanna you wanna always break the plane, like 
in the army, like if I was in the army for you go, we don't know. <laughs> <laughs> they wouldn't counter push them because we never broke the plane. So the dual 90 breath kind of like it's cutting it close. My chest is getting big like yours and it's not letting me go any further. <laughs> But yeah, you always want to like break the plane. So yeah, push-ups are good alternatives. Then now changing the grip of your push-ups. Uh, it's, you know, different angles. It incorporates more tricep the wider you go, just like we were talking about the bench. Um, different angles. It just hits different angles of the chest. And that's what really all you're doing. Um, good alternative, good way to build your endurance in your chest. And that's if, like I said, you're at home, you're away, you don't have access to the gym. You can't go wrong with the push-ups. So, hope that helps. Good. All right, everybody, that basically wraps up chest day. Hope that information was helpful. Chest day. We never introduced our special guest. The real, son. the real special guest. Woo, William. William. Woo. Hi, William. Hey, William. <laughs> Prince William was benching with us today. He's gonna have it's the dedicated. biggest chest when he grows up. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, man, I hope everybody liked that. Uh, if it was helpful, uh, go ahead and give it a thumbs up, share, and most importantly, Subscribe. That's right. Subscribe for William. And we'll, and we'll put him on the channel more often. <laughs> if his dad allows, of course. Yeah. Alright guys, see you guys next week. Yeah.